Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 and in this video I'm going to be going over how to make a workshop collection for your server. Now a workshop collection is very vital to server creation because the server can't function without you know, add-ons and you're going to need those add-ons to make models for your jobs and stuff and weapons for your stuff as well. So it's pretty self-explanatory, also some utility items like if you want props to stay after you change the map prefer an event or something um, I'm assuming this is going to be a role play server then um, you want your props to stay so you'll get an add-on called permaprops and you would put that in your workshop collection so the bread and butter of your server is a workshop collection in your schema because you can't have <coughs> sorry you can't have one without the other so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to, well, do that. That's where the transition comes in. I don't want to fuck this bitch, she smell like poo poo. All right, hello. So, um, in here, we are at the Gary's Mod Workshop. This is the place you're going to have to be. Um, there are a couple ways to get here. For example, um, you go up to your community tab in your Steam client, and there's something called Workshop here. You click on that. Give a second to load. And there's a couple ways to get from here, but I usually just go your playtime since Gary's mod is one of my top in my playtime. So then I click that, and that's just one way to get there. The second way to get there is you start in your library, you find where Gary's mod is, and then there's a workshop tab right here. And you can click on it, it'll automatically bring you there. So this is where you should end up. Um, now, to get to creating a collection you need to get to the collections page so to do that you come over your browser you hover over you go down to collections so here's all this is just every server collection made for well pretty much anything and you'll come over here to create collection and you'll click on it so now you come over here there's some um, it's pretty self-explanatory since there's instructions so to get started collection fill out the fields below You'll then be asked to add items to your collection, you're from a list of your own submission, or from a list of items you favorited. For best results, first go to favorite items you wish to add, and then come back to create your collection. So you can do something like that, but we're going to create the collection first, and then add add-ons from there, and I'll give you a couple, I'll give you two ways to add add-ons from there. So, I'm just going to give it test, aim anything you want, you select a brand image, it could be anything you want, um, I'll just pick one random, so give me a second. All right, so I gave it a random image. Um, describe your collection. This collection is for testing purposes. There's that. What kind of collection this is? Items that work together. You wanna click on that because that will enable to have a subscribe to all button. If you click on this one, people have to automatically have which ones they need. But for simplicity's sake, if you know all your items work together, then you can just click on that. What category should you belong in? I click on server content. Uh, that's the only one you need to put on. Uh, anything else here, you could just put on a role play tag. Save and continue. Give it a minute. All right, so I had a little bit of an issue there, but uh, we're back now. Um, I'll teach you how to get to your collections after you know we get to this page. So you should end up on this page. Um, here's from items you've published, items in your favorites. So this is where they mention you might want to favorite stuff before adding them. And here's subscribed items. This is all the add-ons you have, and then that you can add and for testing purposes. Uh, since I made it a Star Wars schema, we're just gonna add some Star Wars items. So I have a lot of add-ons, uh, you probably shouldn't, but um, yeah. So we're gonna find some clone trooper models that you wanna add. So uh, we're gonna try to find a phase one pack. Arc troopers, clone trooper armor. You can click on the V details button there to figure out what you're adding. It's always helpful. <sighs> Still trying to find them. 212th, I just want standard white. 
Nah, it's not that big of a deal. Um, let's just go add Fibo first. No, oh, we're just gonna add Fibo first. And every time you click on one, it'll just kind of reset it. That's okay, it doesn't matter. So then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna find a weapon pack. So, um, Republic Commando weapons, we don't need that. Oh, there was a phase one troopers. <laughs> um, uh, Stallers weapons, that's probably not what we need. Nope, we need. All right, found it. So um, I've added this uh, weapon pack. It's not one of the best, but that's okay. Um, and then I added the base, which is TFA base. Um, if you're having a TFA weapon pack, you're gonna need this or it won't work. So I have models and weapons. You're obviously gonna need more than that for your server, but this is a test, so I don't really care. And tools like advanced duplicator. And then coming down for perma props, which I always somehow forget to add until the server starts up true story but um it's a pretty important tool if you want to make a base and have it not disappear when you change the map so here's a resizer it's pretty important for me for doing events and then perma props pack three all that stuff so um let's say you have everything added save and continue um here you can add a background image you can have and you can do in video this can be image gif video well, bf whatever you want to pronounce it and it will appear here uh so yeah and then up here you can click publish all right so you just created your workshop collection congratulations so you want to get this into your server so you want to right click copy and then go to your the only your server panel or server command line, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, everyone. Uh, in the original video, I forgot to go over how to get to the collections page once your collection's already made. Um, so <laughs> uh, we're gonna do that now. Uh, one way to get there is from the workshop page right here. Um, this is the way I do it. There are probably other ways, but mm, yeah. One way is you could post a link in somewhere in like a Discord and then click on that and then you automatically get there, but that causes its own issues. So how I do it is I come here to the workshop, browse, I click on your favorites, I come over here to collections, and now I click on this button that says items. And now this displays everything here, <laughs> and this is our collection that we made. And that's how you get there. I forgot to add that in the original video, but it's here now, so. <laughs> Alright, you should be at something over here. You know, your uh, startup command line here. Um, if you have a panel, then you can use something like this. But if you have a startup command line, you'll have this long line of text. Um, you see right here, host workshop collection. It's just that. So, what I like to do. So, let's come in here. Oh. Well, let's come in here and put this in so you can copy and paste it won't it won't work why won't it work that's because you need these numbers for it to work these this ID equals and then this long string numbers that's the unique code given to your collection um, I like copy and paste that open like a text document or something put it in just somewhere and then you just need to copy and paste this line and then post it into here. So again, it should just be, uh, let's see here, 10 numbers right here, and maybe more. But um, yeah, that's what it should be. And then I would click update startup parameters, but or you save the file or whatever your dashboard looks like, and your workshop collection is done. It's in the server. All you need to do now is to restart the server if it's online because the server needs to download the add-ons. So if you add new add-ons, you need to make sure to restart the server or they won't work. So, yeah. Um, they will download between 
map changes so that's also a thing you could do but it will take longer obviously so if you're downloading a whole content pack I would just set aside some time let the server run walk away make some food it's gonna take a while and uh, yeah you just created your workshop collection congratulations um, in the next video we will be going over actually making weapons and consumables and adding ammo to the server store so yeah that will be a thing we're gonna do all right it was nice seeing, it was nice for you watching and I'll see you in the next video please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one